Okay, it is time for my final project pan update for 2014. And this is what I have left here. I started with 99 products and now this is everything that is left. I do have a few empties. The first one is the Japanese Cherry Blossom Body Spray from Bath & Body Works. There's a tiny bit down there, but I can't spray it out. I don't really like this, and the more that I sprayed it trying to use it, the more alcoholy it smelt. So, this wasn't my favorite scent to begin with, but I ended up really not liking it a whole lot by the end, so I would not get this again. Then I finally finished the Tarte for True Blood Lifted Natural Eye Primer. And it was okay. It was a sample. I had a hard I started having a hard time getting enough to do my eyes. I could probably have taken the stopper out, but it's a sample size and I just wanted to move on. Then I had the Stila in the moment palette sample and just like this this one looks like there's stuff in there but it's really just the sparkle it's like all the the shadow underneath the sparkle came off and left the sparkle which happened with these other ones too and I do like this combo of colors the purple and the neutral but I'm kind of tired of it now, so I would take a break before I use these kind of colors again. But I did like it. And then I have the Elizabeth Arden Lash Extending Treatment Mascara. This one's not completely empty, but every time I used it, my eyes felt gritty, like something was in them. So... I feel like it was flaking, and I didn't like it that much anyway, so I'm just going to get rid of it. And now, from stuff that I have left, there are a few things that I just want to get rid of because they were old, or I just really don't like them. And the first one is the Garnier Dark Circle Roller, and I've had this for a long, long time. And this was kind of like the last ditch effort to use it. However, I didn't use it that much. So I'm just going to get rid of that. And then I'm going to get rid of this MAC Pale Lip Erase Lip Balm. I got this maybe three and a half, four years ago. And I've barely used it. Um, I don't know if MAC takes things that are full on back to MAC. I can always clean it out, I guess. But, uh, I do want to get rid of that. It's old. Then I'd like to get rid of this NYX Jumbo Eye Pencil in Cottage Cheese. I used to really like this as, like, an inner corner highlight, stuff like that. But I'm finding that it's too white now. These do not work well as bases for me. They crease like crazy. And since I've been using the Eye Bright that's a, like a more of pink shade, I find that this does not work all that well for me. So I'm just going to get rid of that one. And I am going to give myself maybe another month or so on this one. It's about three and a half years old as well. I got it in the Confessions of a Concealaholic from Benefit ages and ages ago. The only reason I'm not getting rid of it now is because the only other one I have is the Eve Pearl one. I've never opened it, but it is also incredibly old. So I want to make sure that that's actually usable before I get rid of this. Even though this is old, it doesn't smell weird or look weird or do anything weird to my skin. So I am going to hold on to that for a little while. Just to make sure that the other one works first. But then I'm going to throw this out just because it's old. 
And I feel like I have not made a ton of progress on most of these, but I have used some. Uh, the first one is Gem of Roses, which is basically the only lipstick that I've used, even though I have not managed to finish it up. And it's right there. I'm just really bad about reapplying lip color. I have used the Makeup Forever some, but I mean it's a purple so it's not an everyday color and I didn't use it often. And I just never used the other ones. But those will be added back into my collection and be part of my use everything goal for 2015. And I did not really wear lip gloss because I was not in a position to keep reapplying it this month. I did wear this one once, but it wasn't enough to show any sort of progress. What I did make some good progress on was the Hello Flawless Oxygen Wow Foundation from Benefit. I don't know exactly, but I was down here like towards the bottom of Wow. Uh, when I started to use this last month, and now I am right there. I think the plastic part ends right there. So I'm right there at the top of oxygen. I don't love this foundation, but I am going to work at using it in the future. I have been going on this one and it still seems to work. I don't like this one a whole lot, but I'm going to continue using it for at least another month. It's been open for about four or five months already so I figure one more month will be good on this. Then I've been using the Lime Crime Uniliner in Quill. It's and I've used this uh, pretty much every day that I've worn makeup, but in this kind of thing you can't really tell progress till you're like halfway done. And I never really got around to using any of the cream eyeshadows except for Impeccably Rich, uh, which was the Big Bounce shadow from MAC. And I pressed it down and I'm right about there. It's starting to get a little chunky and have a lot more fallout so I'm going to use that I guess as long as it will last but it may dry out before this actually finishes but I am kinda tired of it so I am going to put it away for a while I didn't really touch this because I was trying to focus on this the fake up from Benefit I was hoping I'd finish this I didn't, but I am right there, so it will not be that long until I finish that. I have been using the Ula Lift, and it's about halfway, I guess. And I have not used these a whole lot. Oops. Or the Tread Gently Tender Tone. I haven't used that in a while. That is where I am on the e.l.f. Cover Everything Concealer. It's slowly making progress, but I thought it would be much more used up. It took me no time at all to hit the pan, but since then it's been slow. I've been using the NYX HD shadow base. This one creases on me so it's not that great but it's not bad enough that I can't use it and I have not used any of the other ones. I also thought these two would be done by now and they're almost there but not quite. This is the Eye Bright and it's not easy to sharpen anymore. The wood won't sharpen that easily so it may not sharpen anymore after this but I've still got some use in this
and then the Rimmel Scandalize in Nude. It's probably only got product to there. It's getting harder to use though because the pencil keeps coming out. But I will continue to use that till it's done or the pencil falls out and like onto the floor where I'm not going to pick it up from. And then I have the Urban Decay Moonshine Cream Highlight and I have been using this but it has not gotten much more progress than when I hit pan on it last time. It's right there. I'm just glad I hit pan on this. I thought it would never end. And then I have been using this Glamour Me Cheek Stain from Tarte that was part of the True Blood collection and I do like that. It just you don't use a whole lot so it has not shown any progress even though I've made used it like every day that I've worn makeup. Okay, and I used the black Tarte liner a few times, but not that much. The one that I have made a lot of progress on is the brown. It is right there. Which, considering this was completely full at the beginning of the year, I feel like I've made some good progress on that. I so this is what I have left of my project pan. I started out with 99 items. I used or got rid of or gave away 60 and that includes the ones that I just got rid of today. And I have 39 left. So I did more than half of the amount of products that I had. I was a little ambitious obviously with the eye and the lip products. I obviously don't go through those as fast as I thought I might, but overall I think it was pretty successful and I will do another project pan in 2015. And I'll talk to you guys later. Bye.